Hi, I'm Rie. Today, a friend will be challenging me to take a popular food and make it fancy. Today's friend is Aria. Let's see what Aria wants me to make fancy today. Hi, Rie. It's been too long. The thing I would like you to try to make fancy for me are dino nuggets. They're comfort food. They're a comfort treat. I love dipping them in barbecue sauce and ketchup. I'm very excited for this challenge, Rie. I have high expectations. I tasted many of your fancy creations in the past and I've loved all of them and I've scared you several times in proclaiming how much I love them and I'm still very excited to try whatever masterpiece you come up with. Dino nuggets. Nuggets shaped like a dinosaur. <laughs> I've never had this before. Not dinosaur shape. Not in culinary school. <laughs> no. I'm also not familiar with all dinosaurs. T-Rex is the one with like tiny hands, right? So, Which one is the triceratops? The one with three. Why do you know so much? They look very friendly. Oh, that's Herbie. Oh, they have a name. Yeah. What about this guy? That's Bronto. He's from Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> so they have like whole story behind it. Yeah. Petra? And she likes to read and does karate and plays the violin. <laughs> I think they started developing character from Petra and they got bored. <laughs> Let's see the ingredients. Everything is something I can pronounce. So this is the T-Rex. It's actually good. I like the texture, I like the crunchy outside. It's not bad with ketchup, but nugget by itself has almost no flavor. That's the area I have to improve. Like my personal taste, it doesn't need to be dinosaur shape. Seems like dinosaur is very important for Aria. I'm trying to recreate Jurassic era on the plate. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I take it back. I want my old food dinosaur shape from now. Nuggets are complete food, so I think it's difficult to change this to something else. But I have an idea and I'm excited to make it fancy. Right, here's what I got. Carrots, parsley, broccoli, celery, eggs, radish, butter, boison, thyme, frozen peas, red pepper, onion, and garlic. From the pantry, I got black pepper, salt, flour, sugar, bay leaves, vodka, and white wine, double alcohol. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. First step, most difficult part, make dino nuggets. So in the baking seat, put all the dino nuggets, space it out. Bake this at 350 for 10 minutes. Right, so this has been baked and cool to touch. I'm going to remove the breading. It's not coming off quite easy. It's a label of love. My favorite memory of Aria is definitely when he showed up like a human grape. It was a um, Halloween episode. I think it was maybe my favorite Aria memory and a favorite Halloween costume too. Last Petra, it's kind of like a, I'm revealing what's inside. Not the pleasant view. <laughs> I separated all nuggets and breading. Put breading part in the oven at 425 about 15 minutes and i'm going to use this naked nugget later breading is golden brown and crunchy add in a blender two cups of flour one tablespoon of sugar one teaspoon of salt and you want to blend until the breading is very fine Adding flour and blending mixture in a bowl. Add 10 tablespoons of small cubed butter. Use this torture device. <laughs> and using the pastry cutter, cut through cubed butter until like pea size. Make sure that it's no big chunk. So it looks good. Add two tablespoons of vodka. Add ice cold water as needed. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. If the dough doesn't come together, I'm gonna add more. You kind of want to do this process pretty quickly because you don't want to melt those cold butter. So the dough came together. Transfer to plastic wrap. Flatten this so it will be easier to roll out later. 
chill this dough in a refrigerator about one hour. Okay, so I have some naked nuggets and I'm going to cut them up. Like small dice for one cup. Adding two cups of water in a pot and adding half onion, one celery stalk, two small carrots, two garlic cloves, one bay leaf, thyme, and parsley. Adding cut up chicken. Bring this to a boil and simmer for 30 minutes. It has been simmering for 30 minutes and I'm going to strain. Dino broth looks good. I'm going to use this and naked nugget for next step. Melt two tablespoons of butter. All right, match with the pan too today. All right, butter melted. Add half diced onion, one stalk of celery, one diced carrot. Cook those until soft. Add salt. Salt also helps cooking faster. And while it's cooking, chop up more naked dino. Naked dino? Naked nugget. I don't think you have to censor those. It's a little bit more than a cup, but you know, you have more meat. Veggies look softened. Add two tablespoons of flour and cook for two minutes just to remove like flour taste. Flour looks cooked. So I'm going to add my second alcohol. Quarter cup of white wine. Degrades the pan a little bit. Add dino broth. One cup of naked nugget adding frozen pea, simmer until thickened. And once it's thickened, add quarter cup of soft hard cheese, one teaspoon of thyme, two teaspoon of chopped parsley. Season to taste. Transfer this into a bowl. Cool this down to room temperature, cover with plastic, and chill in the refrigerator about one hour. I have the dough. Use some extra flour on the surface. Roll this dough until thin. When do you think the chicken nugget was invented? Let's see. 1956. We know 1950s. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. But I don't know why I'm so good at this. <laughs> My pie dough is rolled, and I'm going to start cutting out with dinosaur cookie cutter. Unfortunately, we don't have Petra. So we have T-Rex and Triceratops. I feel like those are only two dinosaurs I can pronounce <laughs> and remember their name. So Harvey says, uh, if you ever need to pour, you'll find a way to make everything work out. Oh, wow. He's kind of like a mushroom Makonahi of uh, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the purple dinosaur name? Petra. No, 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 the other purple one. No, 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 not the dino nuggets dinosaur. Marty. Yes. I feel like he's maybe the most famous dinosaur in America. Like in Japan, most famous dinosaur is Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla is not dinosaur. Is it? Okay, so I cut out dinosaur shape and I'm going to use rolling pin. Without losing the shape, I'm going to roll a little bit bigger like uh, how to evolution <laughs> put the filling you don't want to overfill it you are going to pinch the dough with finger i'm gonna just shape a little bit look like t-rex we do the same with triceratops i think triceratops maybe tastes better because they have more bumpy stuff so it's gonna be crispier like in a real life t-rex okay. tastes better because it's more like chicken. Triceratops look like a rhino and rhino doesn't look like delicious. All right so they are looking like dinosaur and I'm going to finish with egg wash. Egg wash makes finished product shinier so whenever you make pie you want to use egg wash or heavy cream so it will have nice shine. Okay, so I'm going to make more. Once you finish everything, you're going to bake at 400 for 20 minutes or until golden brown. Right, so my dino hand pie looks great and I'm going to make it more fun. I have like various kind of vegetables. Let's do with broccoli. Kind of want to make it look like Jurassic era. This kind of has some uh, I Draw You Cook vibes. Yes, I missed that show. <laughs> I am a Rupert James of the I Draw You Cook. Don't you ever forget.
I have a nice carrot top, so I'm going to utilize that. I think if I put some carrot top, it would look like a volcano. At that time, there was some volcano, right? <laughs> According to some like cartoons and illustration, <laughs> based on nothing. And I have some radish, kind of look like little mountain, look like a little island. And I'm going to put some dinosaur. It's like all freestyle, so bear with me. <laughs> he fell. I'm gonna give him a little bit surgery so he can stand. Pedicure. <laughs> How about that? Does it look good? <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> and we are done. Dino hand pies. Let's see what Aria thinks. Aria! <laughs> it's Rie. Uh, I'm actually a little, uh, a little emotional seeing you. It's, it's, it's been a Me while. Too. So much time has passed by that you've had a baby. And you have a man. I want to be called Uncle Aria. Yeah. Okay. Ch children, children usually hate me. This thing has been delivered to me. It's been very covertly. It's wrapped up. I'm very, very, very excited. Do you want to open it up? What is this? What is this magic? You made them look like dinosaurs? Look. You can show that at art exhibition. So this is a T-Rex. Yes. Let's say a triceratops. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And so T-Rex is like this, right? Yes. They have tiny arms. They wouldn't be very good cooks. If you are a dinosaur, what dinosaur are you? I would love to be a, a little velociraptor, you know, just like. How does it sound? I think a velociraptor goes like. <laughs> you have a favorite dinosaur? I like Petra. Petra, the, the pterodactyl. Oh, you're a Dino Nugget fan. I like Herbie. Thank you so much, Ray. Cheers. Mmm. Give me a moment. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is delectable. This is a, like a chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. The fact that you made it the shape of a dinosaur too. I mean, that, is, that makes it fancy. This is fantastic. Thank you. We have one thing. Oh, yes! <laughs> I forgot. Don't forget we do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Make, Make it fancy. fancy. Ah!